All right, here again with another tutorial, and this one is going to be on bus processing. And whenever I say bus processing, I'm referring to the um, the group of um, various instruments. So you'll normally have a drum bus, which will include all of your drum sounds, and then you'll have like a bass bus if you've got multiple different bass patches going on, and then like a melody and lead bus and an effects bus. And essentially what that does is it groups all of those devices into um, these easily controllable buses. Um, they're also called a group in Ableton. Um, so. Um, the easiest one, I think, to really show you, or we'll, we'll do both, um, but we'll start with the drum bus. And, why not, let's go get a little loop so we can actually kind of hear what we're doing. Do, 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 do. These are kind of fun. Oh, that's cool. Um, it's kind of short. this just to make it a little fun. Um, probably want to drop the volume here. Okay, so got a little sample going on. Um, so I've got this set up as uh, my default template, which is in my template for 2018. And I'm actually going to put that probably for download in there. I need to do that soon. Um, so let's just start here, and I've got it all set up to where it turns off in the beginning. Uh, so yeah, I mean, there's a few things in my template I can't give out unless you have those plugins as well. I guess that's part of it. Um, but you could remodel after pretty easy. Okay, so first thing, obviously, is this EQ, and I'm doing a bit of this rolling off. Do we have... the sun bleeding in on my screen here which you can't see from my screenshot but um okay so now I see that the audio is traveling through here um, this is just um, you know fairly basic I'm gonna be able to tweak my drums and kind of subtly change the sounds I'm getting which is um, nice for you might notice is how I'm doing this a bean on off that just makes a little more space in there, it sounds like. Anyway, okay, so I've got an EQ to be able to tweak it, and then what this is a uh, parallel compressor. And what makes it parallel is the fact that it's on these two different chains. And I've got a whole tutorial on how to do parallel compression, so I'm not going to get totally into that. I am. Um, so with this, it's uh, you know, it's just my my initial settings that I've kind of over time liked to use, which definitely get moved around a little bit. Mostly the release and the threshold and makeup, obviously. Um, so you can hear. So this is called gain staging. What I'm doing here, see, I'm matching the level to where when I A B it, it's going to be all the same, and then I can click off this whole device and I can A B everything I've done. And it's actually, um, it, it's called gain staging. It, it it was more proper back when you had consoles. Now with the you know DAWs, it's a little different. You can kind of just do whatever you want. But this is a, a great way, and it's kind of been the studio way for years. Then I've got over here uh, another compressor, and when you want two compressors in a row, it's called Serial Compression. And this one is set up to um, be only reacting to the frequencies above 200 hertz, so I can kind of control the high end.
So quick note here too, um, when you're doing compression on any group of sounds or any sound for that matter, um, especially unless you're just simply trying to knock off a few dB to kind of round out the sound, um, generally kind of working on my master bus the way I am here, I would want to also be listening to like a synth or a bass or a vocal to listen to the comparison of what they're doing because you really can't hear so much the time movements that are occurring, um, but this is actually, if I were to bring in a synth, it, it, it probably would be sound horrible because I haven't been listening to the depth perception and the overall frequency balance that I'm blending it with. So, but for tutorial's sake, this will totally do. So let's just um, clean up our space. Right. So what we've been able to do is mostly kind of just make this sound a little bit more unique. If that was your own drum kit that you've been designing, um, how much further you could probably really be able to tweak that and how much more that really just colors and adds to that sound to make your own unique stuff. And that's a drum mix bus. Um, in terms of synth and bass, they're not too different. Um, pretty sure I have the exact same. Oh, I mean, uh, my bass, I tend to really smash down on the compression, so I've got two compressors. Um, I would say the main difference here um, is the style of compression I end up using and um, I like to personally have the compressor reacting a little slower and maybe taking a little longer. Sometimes I'll end up having this to where it's cutting off, turning off a little quicker. Um, this kind of just, yeah, a lot of this stuff changes. And with this stuff I end up running with one of these and um, so with this glue compressor these uh, different ratios are actually also modeling different types of compression and uh, yeah get a little bit of kick going on normally I, uh, on melodies and stuff I would have like four to six um, yeah gain reduction or so just kind of depends on the mix and once again another EQ and um, this lovely little limiter so I think that concludes a tutorial on bus processing. Um, Hit me up in the comments if you uh, would like to download this project file. I can make it available. And thank you for watching as always. Please like and subscribe.